Hello and welcome to part two of lesson 10 of the Learn to Crochet the Easy Way Masterclass. This is a 14 day course that was designed to help you feel confident in the basics of crochet. I'm your instructor Sigoni and today we will be learning how to crochet in continuous rounds. Before we get started, make sure you download a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook that will be linked in the description box below. For every video in this course, there is a related page inside. You will find over 70 pages of all of the lessons, step-by-step -step picture tutorials, both left and right-handed, checklists, reference guides, the written patterns for the projects we'll be completing in this class, and you will receive access to all of the videos ad-free inside the Teachable platform. Yesterday we learned how to crochet in joined rounds. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet in continuous rounds. Now if you missed yesterday's lesson, make sure you go check that out because there is a big difference between joined rounds and continuous rounds. And also I'm showing you two different ways to start a project in the round. The first day we talked about the chain method. And the second day, today, we are going to learn how to create a magic circle. So that's why you want to make sure to watch both videos. So let's go ahead and get into part two of how to crochet in the round. Okay, are you ready to learn how to crochet in continuous rounds? If you're ready to learn, just make sure that you have yourself a stitch marker. I highly recommend these locking stitch markers because it locks in place whenever you're working. And I've learned from a painful experience that when you're using a stitch marker like this, while you're crocheting, you could easily bump it out and completely lose your place. So definitely opt for the locking stitch marker. So to begin this circle in the round, we're first going to learn the magic circle. Now in the last tutorial, we learned how to start crocheting in the round by using the chain method. For this tutorial, we're going to start off with the magic circle. So to begin your magic circle, hold your yarn against your fingers with your thumb and wrap your working yarn around these three fingers underneath your fingers and wrap it back around on top, creating this X. Now take your crochet hook, go underneath the first strand and on top of the second strand. And we're going to pull that second strand down and then we're going to twist our hook towards us and up. And that is how you create a magic circle. And go ahead and chain one to secure your knot. So this is your magic circle here. And we have a chain one because in this tutorial we're going to work with single crochet stitches instead of double crochet. So this chain one does not count as a single crochet. So we're going to place six single crochet into this magic circle. So insert your hook into the circle. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook into this circle again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your second single crochet. And I just hold this magic circle as best I can while I'm working with it. But know that this is definitely something that your hands have to get used to, and if you don't get it on the first try, just keep trying. And if it frustrates you to no end, just continue with the chain method. That is completely fine and then maybe you can come back and try again later. So I have six single crochet in the circle. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now that we have all that we need, we're going to take the tail end, hold on to our chain one, and pull that strand so that our circle ends up nice and tight. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to crochet in joined rounds, but for this tutorial, we're not joining, which means no slip stitching. We're just going to continue on to row two from right here. But before we go on to round two, grab your stitch marker, and I personally like to mark my last stitch of each round. If you wanna mark your first stitch, you can do that too. But I have our last stitch marked. It's just right on top of the stitch. And now I'm going to increase into that very first stitch. So that means two single crochet into that same stitch. And now we're going to increase into the next stitch and each stitch around. So because we started off with six single crochet in the magic circle, we should end up with 12 at the end of this round.
All right, and now we've reached our last stitch. So we're going to take out our stitch marker and then we're going to place our increase into our last stitch. And because this is now our last stitch, we're going to mark that last stitch again. And so that's the end of round two. Now for round three, we're going to increase in the first stitch. And then one single crochet into the next. Increase into the next. And one single crochet into the next. So we're just going to repeat that pattern around. Increase one, increase one, increase one. And again, because we're adding six stitches at the end of each round, we should have 18 single crochet at the end of this round. All right, and again, we've reached our last stitch, so we're going to take out our stitch marker and place one single crochet into this last stitch. Now grab your stitch marker and mark that last stitch again. And so that is the end of round three. And if you see that your circle in the middle is starting to get loose, because we started off with the magic circle, all you have to do is pull that tail end and your circle will close. Now for round four, we're going to increase in the first stitch, and then place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Increase, single crochet into each of the next two stitches, Increase, single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and so on. And here's our last stitch, so we'll take out our stitch marker and place a single crochet into that last stitch. And now replace the stitch marker. And that is the end of round four. Let's go ahead and count our stitches. So at the end of round four, we should have a total of 24 stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we have 24 stitches in this round, so we are good to go. So just like with joined rounds, we're going to increase the same way. The only difference is that we're using a stitch marker to mark the last stitch of every round. And if your circle doesn't seem to be flat, then go back and make sure that you have the correct amount of increases. All right, so I know this tutorial was a lot quicker than the previous one, but I already went over everything you need to know about crocheting in the round in the first tutorial. So if you're feeling lost, make sure you check out that tutorial because it has so much more information. And again, if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below. So now you know almost everything you need to know about crocheting in the round. We talked about joined rounds, continuous rounds, the chain method, the magic circle. So much has gone on these past few days. And I hope you've learned a lot from it. Believe it or not, this was actually our very last lesson of the course. So I hope you've enjoyed this masterclass so far. It's not over yet. This was just our last lesson. But tomorrow we are going to learn how to crochet a scarf together. And this is going to take you from the very beginning to the very end. And if you want to get prepared, you'll need a medium weight yarn and a six millimeter hook. I'll leave the supplies that I used for tomorrow's project in the description if you just want to get a head start. Again, check the description for a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook. As always, I'm your instructor Sigoni, and I can't wait to see all of your scarves from tomorrow's project. I'll see you then.